what's up guys? Do you have a transmission fault on your Range Rover? It says stop safely. If so, I'll make it help. First off guys, check your bin for any bulletins. I'll put a link in the description below for the website that I use. It's actually a Land Rover website. Uh, next steps is make sure that your vehicle falls within the bin range in the year number. Okay guys, after we've read the bulletin, we're going to go down and look at the service kit. Uh, it shows the part number. We get that straight from Land Rover. Uh, next up, we're going to look at replacing this rear diff motor. I'm going to follow the guidelines. It's really easy. Um, we'll start off with four bolts for the motor housing, and then we're going to undo the motor from the housing. Okay, in this next clip, I'm going to show you the electrical connection. This is going to come off counterclockwise. Now let's get this motor off. Uh, at the very top, it's going to be four 8mm bolts. Once you break those loose, you can get them off by hand. Uh, just kind of, I'm going to spin around best I can, show you the back side where the other two bolts are at. Next up, we're going to disconnect the motor from the housing. There's four bolts uh, that are 5 millimeter Allen heads. We'll get those disconnected and we'll get the, the two pieces out and we'll re-silicone the, uh, the motor housing and we'll reinstall everything. Now once I get it reinstalled, I'm going to clear all the fault codes and I'll give it a shot and see what happens. Um, worst case scenario it will have to go to the dealer to get programmed once this new motor is installed it does say to do that per the bulletin on this car I was able just to clear the fault codes and the vehicle operated like it should hey thanks for watching guys and until next time hey go fix something <laughs>